Yo, welcome to another YouTube video. It's your boy Cash. We are back again another week in 2024, providing you with another great YouTube video, inspiring content, motivational content, everything that uplifts your spirit and makes you feel fulfilled. So if you're resonating with that and that aligns with you, like, subscribe, leave a comment, share with a friend. Let's keep these vibes high and keep this community growing. I appreciate you guys for being here. I try to respond to everybody's comments, likes, However you're supporting my channel, it is greatly appreciated. So with that being said, let's just jump in today's video right now. So in today's video, what I wanted to talk to you about today is really taking the ideas that's in your mind and applying them into action immediately. Something that actually inspired this video today is this light behind me. It's a sunset lamp that I purchased on Amazon today and I've probably been procrastinating, hesitating on purchasing this because I hate purchasing products and then they don't get used whatsoever. I can literally go down a list of some of my camera equipment, whether it's drones, gimbals, they don't get used as much as they should, but I appreciate that I have them. But the point is, is like buying stuff, knowing that it's a miss or potentially it's a miss. It's like, ooh, that's a waste of money. And I don't like that. And I'm pretty sure you don't like that either. But this here, prompted the idea for today's video of taking those thoughts and actions, seeing something that you believe that you can create, taking the risk, creating the action and purchasing it and going forward with seeing the outcome that you've created. And maybe it's because this potential outcome worked out in my favor that I'm really excited and have like this energy to share this with you. But I was looking back at my life and reflecting on certain situations and obstacles that I've been in where it's like, dude, just apply the action first, live with the results and take that as a character developmental moment in your life. Because I used to have these fears of like overthinking and overanalyzing situations where truthfully it would paralyze me in the moment or my anxiety would get so bad, like in my younger days where I just would not take any action at all. And of course, no action leads to no progress. And sometimes you get stuck in this loop of like saying, I don't know what to do next. Um, I have no idea. And really you just need to try, take the idea that you have within your head, take those thoughts and actions or take those thoughts and beliefs and turn them into actions and see what you're capable of creating amongst the resources that you have amongst the community that you have and see what you could actually become if you literally just took the ideas that's in your head and shared them with the world i think that is so powerful and impactful that we need more people who have original ideas who are thought leaders thought provokers and not just taking up noise like taking up space with just having a loud opinion with no substance but substance that can inspire change and lead to growth and um, environmental change and just the way we interact with each other so if that's resonating with you and you're one of those people like yo it's time for you to speak up like like right now like you right now come on let's go i can give you plenty of examples whether it's from college career uh relationships um <laughs> sports where there's been times where I have let the process of me overthinking, over processing, thinking I need to analyze every situation, potential outcome, potential angle that I could be in where it's like the moment passes and then it's too late to actually capitalize on anything within that moment because it's gone. And I look at that as opportunities in life that in a blink of an eye, you could either make the progress or you could fall back, take a step back, honestly, because of your inability to make choices, to make decisions and be at peace with the outcome of those decisions. Like live with your results, because at the end of the day, when you have to tell your own story, you rather say, I was holding the pen when I wrote this story, not being influenced by someone else, basically saying not allowing someone else dictate my life or dictate the story, the narrative that's being written about my life. I think I lost my train of thought, but I think you guys understand where I'm coming from. 
By the way, um, I hope y'all feeling the new setup. I feel like this is the late night show with Cash, and um, that's what we're vibing with, therapy session on the couch. Um, yeah, let's get to it. What I was trying to say is that when it comes down to your life and you're writing the story of your life, make sure no one else is holding the pen of that narration except you yourself. Because when people ask you about the decisions and the choices that you made, you rather say it was a choice that I made for myself without the influence of others trying to dictate or misguide my own judgment into doing something that's more so beneficial for them. Like do it for yourself. Seriously. Like who else would you do it for? Like take a moment, just really like process that. There's so many, um, what am I trying to say here? There's so many impactful leaders and um, writers that haven't had that opportunity to express themselves because of the fear of rejection, because of the fear of how will I be perceived, because of whatever fear that is a limiting belief for them to take action. We need you more than ever because of a good, because the substance of a good mind is missing in today's culture. The substance of a great mind is missing in today's culture. So more so than anything, if you're one of those people who have been in the position of hesitating, second guessing, self doubt, not finding the friend or peer group to reinforce your beliefs or to comfort your ego to make you take action, I'm saying you don't need any of those things People, places, environments, atmosphere, um, structural environments, you don't need any of that. The only thing you need to do is to press record. Just press record because you need to put yourself out there. You need to start writing. You need to start journaling. You need to start sharing. And like I said, this isn't for everybody, but for that person who's constantly been saying, like, I need to start X, Y, Z. A, B, C, one, two, three, that person who's constantly saying I should do, I'm saying do, just remove the should. I do this, I do X. And give yourself time to see the results of the effort and labor that you've been contributing to the um, creative space that you're putting yourself in before you judge yourself. Give yourself time to see how does the community accept you before you judge yourself. Literally all this came from me taking an impulsive decision to purchase a sunset lamp and living with the results because I honestly, I was kind of burnt out of like buying things and it's like, ah, that's a miss, but it hit this time. And I'm like, mm, que rico, you know, that's how good it is. Um, so more so than anything, my friends, my family, my followers, my subscribers, the community, Take action, speak boldly, speak loudly, and let the ideas and the thoughts that you have, the ones that's full of substance, that's knowledge and wisdom that could be shared for the older generation or younger generation or even your peer group, people are waiting on you to step into the light that they see you within. So with that being said, I hope this leaves you in a well space I hope this video leaves you in a place better than where you were five or 10 minutes ago. I don't really know how long this video is going to be because I just talk and, you know, it just blah, 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 blah. But I'm sending you off with much love, much light, much energy to take action, to create something epic and monumental this year for yourself. Anyways, leave a like, subscribe. I want to thank you if you made it to this part of the video. Yo, my name is Cash and I'm going to catch you in the next video. Let's get to it. Peace out.